Here's Billy. Billy is hot and thirsty and wants to get a milkshake. Billy, you're in luck. There's a cafe right over there. What's wrong with you, Billy? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong. Billy is lactose intolerant. Lactose is a sugar found in milk and dairy products. Lactose has to be broken down in your body by an enzyme called lactase. And this enzyme is produced in the small intestine. Once lactose is broken down into its simpler forms of glucose and galactose, it can be absorbed into your bloodstream and turned into energy. However, having intolerance to lactose simply means that your body does not produce enough lactase enzymes to break down all that lactose sugar you've just had. The leftover lactose proceeds to go to your colon, where the bacteria break it down themselves, which can then cause gas, bloating, diarrhea, and abdominal cramping. Billy's friend Johnny here makes lots of lactase, which allows him to enjoy that cool, delicious milkshake without those unpleasant side effects. Don't worry, Billy. You are not alone. There are thousands of people who are lactose intolerant. In fact, lactose intolerance is common in places where dairy is not a main part of the daily diet. For our ancestors, it was normal for a person to lose the ability to produce lactase after breastfeeding. The gene simply turned off, as it was no longer needed. When farm animals became domesticated, and the milk they produced provided nourishment during hard times, a mutation, which is a random change in the genetic code, occurred. The lactase gene stayed turned off. This was beneficial to the people who lived off the milk of their farm animals. This gene was passed on for many generations to the point where many people, including your friend Johnny, can enjoy the benefits of dairy and the lactose within. Here is a picture of DNA arranged as chromosomes. The genes responsible for lactase are found on chromosome 2 within the MCM6 and LCT genes. Here's how your genes interact, Billy. You don't have a mutation in your MCM6 gene, so after you grow out of needing breast milk as a baby, the MCM6 gene switches off. So, the LCT gene also stops working and producing lactase. Here's how your friend Johnny's genes interact. A mutation in the MCM6 gene allows the LCT gene to keep making lactase. Some people are born with a mutation in their LCT gene. They can never produce lactase, even if their MCM6 gene is working, and even when they are babies. Through dietary research and modern technology, the food industry is always providing new and tasty alternatives to lactose products. You can have dairy-free foods that still offer you calcium, such as broccoli, beans, tofu, soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, coconut milk, hazelnut milk, oat milk, hemp milk, peanut milk, and horchata. Or even lactose hydrolyzed milk. There are also enzymatic lactase supplements you can buy from your local drug mart to help you along if you've had too much lactose. Here you go, Billy. Enjoy a nice, cool, refreshing sherbet shake. Uh, isn't that better? Here's a cookie to go with it.